right, everyone. Hi! So, as you know, my other video ran kind of long. I wanted to give some updates since I won't be doing as many videos for a little bit in any way. Um, and I want to show you all the new stuff that I got. Um, spooky better not plan on puking in here. Okay. Well, hi, Sushi. She's just still just like... I left my door open to my room and the cats are like all over me. Um, I'm wondering if I can get Kiki in here. Let me, let me see if I can do that. All right, and here is Sushi, um, Kiki. She and Sushi don't really get along, so she's not going to stay. But... Oh, well, there... I... Oh, there I go. Kiki tried licking sushi, and sushi swatted her away. All right. All right, so let's move on to what I actually wanted to talk about today, because I'm a little rambly, and that's probably because my last video for a little bit. As you can see, I found my Thor and Loki plushies. They were... They were missing for a while. Finally found them. So, let's talk about manga, finally, because I'm a rambler. Um, let's talk about, let's, let's count how many times I can say let's talk about, what's, that could be turned into a drinking game at this point. <laughs> um, Whispered Words by um, Takashi Ikida. This is also known as um, Sazameki Koto. <clears throat> this is one of the first Yuri I have bought. I mean, I you really can't call it Yuri because it's uh, it's so July, and it is seen starting to see better. It's really thick. It's like I'd say it's probably like three volumes in one, to be honest. But I do have all of them. If you want to see the rest of the covers. I love the covers of these so much. So, you might have heard about Sazameki Koto before, Whispered Words. It did get an anime while back ago. I don't even remember when that was. Um, but it did get an anime. And it only got one season, of course, because most LGBTQ animes only get one season. They never seem to get more than that. Um, um, World's Greatest First Love got two seasons. Stopped And they're finally doing, like, their proposal arc at the end, so I'm excited for that. Jinjo Romantica, you know, two seasons. Several years later, it finally gets season three out. Um, and a lot of times they just do a stopping point where, um, they can end the story. Which, Sasumaki Koto didn't... The story didn't get felt finished, whereas, like, Love Stage, you know, where it decides to end in, um, the anime, I'm like, okay, same with Hidori's anime in my hair, I'm like, okay, okay. It's not completed, but it felt more finished. Um, this one ends with very sojo I nothing happens. It's like, oh, cute, look at them. But not really, because their story gets angsty as fuck, and oh my god, I remember I was reading this um, during a time where I was struggling with figuring out who I was, and um, I was all on campus a lot. This kind of goes in the same um, box as, um, Candy Color Paradox. I was on campus a lot by myself, um, so I was sitting there reading on my phone, 
24-7. And I remembered watching the anime of this in early college. And I was like, you know what? Didn't I have a manga? I thought I read like a couple chapters of it. So I pulled it back up and I started reading it and I couldn't stop. It's... Um... The art style might not be for everybody. It's like cutesy, but it's very simplified. Oh, a whole other Kiki. Alright, here's another girl's kissing. This is side couple. Um... <clears throat> So basically what the premise is, um, we have, God, it's been a while since I read this. So we have Sumika here and Ushio. Ushio is a very proud lesbian. She is very upfront about it. She's very vocal about it. She's like, yeah, I like girls. I like cute girls. That's, there's strong emphasis on it. Kiki, why are you doing um, and we have Sumika here, who is in love, they're best friends, and she's in love with Ushio, but she won't ever tell her that she likes her because Ushio's made it very clear that she likes cute girls, and Sumika doesn't feel like she's a cute girl. She used to, um, she used to do karate, she's tall. She has glasses. She's not comfortable with her body. She is basically the opposite of what Ushio wants. Ushio wants... Oh. Where'd she go? This is weird. All the all all we're making missing is she likes girls like this. Which funny story? That's actually a cross dresser. That's not even a girl. <laughs> so it's their story on how they basically find each other. So it's not only just about their love story. It's about their self-discovery separately and then together and that's one thing I really liked about the story is um, they're best friends and then they reach a certain there's lots of comedy and funny points in the manga but it does eventually reach a spot where it's um, they kind of have to they kind of have to separate and it's a really hard part in the series. Um, and af after that kind of happens, they both have to like work toward who they are. Where Sumika kind of has to live with the fact that she's going to be... She's tall, she's going to have glasses, she might not be short and cute and it doesn't <clears throat> she has to face the fact that that doesn't matter anymore and she kind of like goes but could you two not fight in here it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay um yes i know oh no oh no is she is she bullying you um, what was I saying? Oh, so Sumika has to grow into who she is, and that might mean going back into karate, and Ushio has to find out who she is, um, and that's a really interesting part in the story, because we all kind of know from the beginning that Sumika is meant to go back to karate, but with Ushio, we don't really know, like, um... She bases a lot of who she is as, like, being the lesbian and liking girls. 
and that's that's fine there's no problem in that but she feels like there's something more to to her care you know to who she is and that's a lot of what the story really is about like it is about their love but when it, you break it down to it really is about them finding out who they are and it might not be a self-discovery story of like sexuality wise it's just who they are and who they're supposed to be um beautiful story um you know i love i love the art and these and these characters are so rich and endearing and oh my god well yours is making yourself comfortable now This is actually one of my favorite panels. Kiki, can I put my arm up here? One of my favorite panels. Well, pages, I should say. Um. Oh, it's just so... Could you not? Yeah. Yeah, you get what I'm, you get what I'm trying to say about this. I'm trying to talk about this with that as little spoilers as possible because I don't know a lot of people who have read Whispered Words so I don't want to spoil it for any of y'all and if you have read it awesome I'm glad you read it um, or if you watch the anime cool but if you watch the anime totally read the manga so you can get the completion of the story um, trying to think there's anything else important I really want to discuss in here. Uh, probably not. Um, like I said, I don't want to talk about too much. Let's just look how cute they are. Um, I think that's where I should leave off. Um, now, on that. Um, so, Whispered Words, it's, um, uh, One Piece. Um, one Piece books. Let me make sure it's it's not out of print because I bought these um, a couple years ago, probably like um, four years ago, maybe five years ago. Where are you, Amazon? There you are. Um, Yeah, like, if you have to read it online, like, cool. You know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well... It looks like volume one isn't. It's available on the. Oh, well. Maybe not. You can buy volume two. You can buy volume two. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. No, okay, here it is, here it is, okay. You can buy volume one. It's sixteen ninety five, but it's not with Prime. Okay, so you can buy them online. Um, the only issue... Um, if you look it up, people gave it poor reviews, mostly due to the fact that, um, they didn't like how they did the, pr the placement of the wording in these a lot of the time. Like, um, sometimes it, it's like up high in a speech bubble, 
and stuff or you know it just looks off i didn't really have a problem with it i thought it was fine um but yeah it's a really beautiful series beautiful story it's told um perfect it's uh it's awesome um, so I totally recommend it. Um, read it if you can. Even if you have to do it online, just... Not that I condone that, really. I mean, I do it. But, um, just, you know, always try to support the mangaka when you can. Or author, or, you know, whatever it is. I guess I'm gonna stop there for now. Um... <clears throat> before I just start rambling again. Um, well, actually, real quick. Um, I know, iPad, you need a, you need a, you need an update. Fuck your update. Who updates? No, I'm kidding. Alright, let's see here. Oh, come on! God damn, I still have forever on these! Okay, so I am reading for free on Lizzie. So I'm currently reading um, Star X Fanboy. Um, I could probably buy a bundle of coins soon and um, read a bunch of these. Because they're only two, two coins. But I'm going to read for free for now and, you know, go from there. I don't know, it's just so many episodes, so I might have to... I don't think Read for Free is gonna, um, do all the episodes. So, I don't know. We'll see about that. It's super cute. I'm only on, like, episode 13. Um, I have 49 minutes left for the next episode. Is uh, free for me to read. Um... Yeah, super, super, super cute. If you haven't picked up Star X Fanboy, do it. It is adorable. Um, just, oh my god, my heart. My heart. Um, and if you have read it, like, I'm at the part where Fanboy and Star, like, meet, like, for real when he gets in the spot to, um to film and his TV show. Oh my god, I died. Oh, um, I am also reading King's Maker right now. It's also read for free for, I think it's, I forget to what episode it is. It's like 29 or something. Sorry. Um, So I'm reading this one for free too. It's really good. Love the artwork. Um, excited to see where the story's gonna go. And I guess I'll have to put some money away so I can, um, cause I'll have to buy like the last, I think it's the last nine episodes I have to buy myself. So, um, yeah, I'll have to do that. I say that Lizzie is so expensive on their coins, but what are you going to do? Um, yeah, so I'm reading those two. Really good. Check them out if you haven't. Um, you'll love them, I'm sure. Everyone loves... Ah, uh, fuck, I hate this song. Oh, listen to me. You're like, fuck this song. This is Chase, um, Hoffelder. Hoffelder? 
Um, he does, um, well, hi! Um, he does, um, uh, covers of songs and he sings in the minor chord. So it makes the song sound a lot either more sad or creepy or eerie than they normally sound. Um, definitely check him out. He has some awesome songs. He did a cover of Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid. Oh, that song is transformed and turned into something else entirely. I love it! Um, and my favorite one that he's done is, um, Best Day of My Life by, uh, what's it called? American... Anyway, there's some, like, pop rock band. I didn't even recognize their version because I've heard his so much. Um, but yeah, check him out. He's he's great. Um, I gotta make sure to put a good disclaimer and credit to him on here since I was listening to him while I was talking. Um, that's it for right now, y'all. Um, it'll be a little bit before I see you again. Hopefully not too long. Um, I like making these videos. It gets me rolling in the morning and get showered and put makeup on and put regular clothes on. Um, so, but, uh, I'm, I'm starting back at school next Monday. I'm excited but nervous. I'm thinking one class I'm gonna have to switch out because I'm nervous as fuck to do printmaking. I've never done it before. I would rather do a painting or drawing class. But, I don't know, I might... I might look for the um, painting too and see if I can swap it out because I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Um, and it's kind of expensive. Like, I'm gonna have to like put a $66 deposit for copper and then I have to, to give the teacher like $30 to rent some tools. Only tools I can get from him or her, whatever they. And I have a huge list of supplies that's going to cost me, like, close to $100. I'm kind of not cool about that. I don't know. I've always wanted to take printmaking, but it seems like it's going to be a hole in my wallet. You know, painting is expensive, but at least I have lots of painting supplies. So, I don't know. I might look and see if there's a painting 2 class, and I might, I might switch over to that because I don't know about this printmaking class. I don't know. I, I just don't think it's the right studio class for me to take after being gone for three years and jumping back. I don't know. I'm nervous. Okay. Anyway. Um, see y'all. I know I rambled. But it was a ramble day. Alright. Bye everyone!